What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of I Know Chris on the show today, my friends. We got some barbecue sauces in the house. That's right. We're going to be reviewing some barbecue sauces. I seen it at my local Walmarts today. I was in there just roaming around, picking up some steaks to grill because it was the weekend. And I seen these little small sample bottles. These are sample bottles. Uh, it's a really good idea. I believe more sauce companies will do it because it gives you a chance to buy it at a low cost and see if you like it. Because the big bottles of these barbecue sauces sometimes can be anywhere from $7 and on up. Now these little bottles, sample bottles, were only a dollar a piece, one dollar per bottle. Pretty good deal, and I think it's a great idea. Now this is Blues Hog Barbecue Sauces. Uh, these are the ones they had in the store today that I picked up to try. I do not know why this one is smaller than the rest, but this is the original. This is the original sauce we'll be trying. This right here is the Tennessee Red Barbecue Sauce. It's kind of more watery down. It's probably more like a vinegar-based sauce, what it looks like to me. It's kind of watery in the bottle there. But we're going to give it a try. And we also have right here next the Smoky Mountain. Now this right here like has a lot of herbs in it. I can see some stuff in there. A little still kind of watery looking. I don't know if you can see that in there. Still kind of watery looking. Uh, we'll see what's going on with that in a few minutes. Now this right here is actually a wing sauce. Um, it's kind of like a mustard base. And it's kind of watery. But this is their wing, wild wing sauce. So I'm interested to see what that is. We don't have no wings. But we're going to try it on pizza. Mystery meat I got right here. <laughs> grilled y'all know what i grilled i grilled some ribeye steaks yep i cut up some slices and it's not usually i put barbecue sauce on my steak but hey we're reviewing it today then we have right here the raspberry chipotle now this ought to be spicy and sweet i'm really interested in this one this ought to be really good the last one they have right here is the champion blend so really interesting seeing if that is a uh, maybe their champion barbecue sauce they put on some stuff before in the past we don't know but we are going to find out so all we can do, my friends, is uncover what I have over here is a mystery meat. Like I said, usually I would have maybe some chicken to put barbecue sauce on, but I didn't grill that today. I actually grilled some ribeye steaks, and I cut some really thin little slices up right here. Yes, you can see they're kind of pinkish looking. They're about medium rare to rare. They're not really rare. I say medium rare cooked, so that's how I like my steak. And we're just going to dab them in these different sauces here. And I'll just tell you what I think about them. Because the sauce is a sauce, meat is just something we consume it with. It's either going to be tasty, tasty, or yucky, yucky. And you know what I do here on my channel. I waste my money, so you don't have to waste yours. And I'm going to do my best to tell you if this is worth buying the big bottles of Blues Hog. Maybe it's all that. Maybe it's not. Let's get to tasting. Okay, first we're going to start out with the original sauce. Now it is a thick sauce. It's thick looking it's, it's not very runny. I don't know how good y'all can see that in the video, but it's a little bit more on the thick side. So it's not real runny. Give it a little shake. Let me see if it says anything. It is gluten free, just in case you were wondering. So, this is 100 calories, is what it says on the bottle. So, anyway, we're gonna pour a little bit out here. Not much, just a dab of it. Because, like I said, we're not drowning this stuff, we're just trying it. So up first, we're going to try the Blues Hog Original. So here we go. Give my thoughts on this. We'll dip it up here. It's a nice, thick barbecue sauce. Looking nice there. Very sweet. Very sweet. Mmm. Not spicy. It's not spicy or nothing. Okay, but this right here, the original, is a basic uh, molasses tasting, sweet, a little bit of smokiness barbecue sauce. I think it'd be excellent on grilled chicken, smoking your chicken. It'd be good on that. It's not really good on steak, but like I said, we're really tasting the sauce, but that's what I'm tasting, a very thick molasses, smoky, sweet taste. I'll tell you which one I think is the best and the worst at the end of this video, but let's get to the video first. So we're gonna move the original over here. We're gonna go next with the Tennessee Red, which is a more water-based sauce. And you can see in there, it is very watery-like. I mean, it is super runny. I don't know how good y'all can see that in the picture. But we'll give it a little try. Let me move the steak back a little bit here. Let me get something clean to the sauce off because we don't want to contaminate it. Okay, we got that sauce out of the way. Let's go with this Tennessee Red. I got a feeling this is gonna be more of a, like a vinegar-based Smells like vinegar. <laughs> it's gonna be very runny. It's 
got a little bit of thickness to it, but not much. It's kind of very runny like. So this is the Tennessee Red. Let's get a good bit on there. It's more of a clear sauce than anything. Okay, this has definitely got a vinegar taste to it, but it's got a lot of spice in it. Mm-hmm. That's good. I like it. Another one that would be good on chopped barbecue. Um, this would be good on ribs. And this would be good on chicken if you like something that's got spicy kick and vinegar. Spicy kick and vinegar. It's a little red here. All right, up next, my friends, we got the Smoky Mountain. Now, the Smoky Mountain, still a little bit on the watery side. It smells very smoky. This, is what, this has what you originally expect in a smoky smelling barbecue. That smoked smell, the molasses, sweetness. It's not super thick, comes out fairly fast. I got a feeling this is gonna be a nut that's probably good on chicken, more than likely. It's gonna be like a chicken, chicken barbecue sauce. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. That right there is very, very smoky tasting. A little bit of a tangy, orange citrus taste in there too. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Once again, this would definitely go on a barbecue chicken and a rib. We're gonna say ribs because it's got spicy, smoky, sweet taste. And a lot of people like that on the ribs, especially here in the United States, in Georgia. So yeah, barbecue sauce for a rib right there, definitely. All right, let's move along to this. Now this is the wing sauce. And it is kind of runny too. And we're gonna pour it up here on another spot on the plate so we don't mix it up. It smells like a regular hot wing sauce that you would get here in the US. I don't know about overseas, but it has that mustardy hot sauce smell, I guess what I'm looking for here. So we'll dip some up, make sure we get it coated really good. You can see it. No. <laughs> uh -uh. I've had way better wing sauce. Something's off in this, throwing it off to me. It's spicy, it's mustardy, and it tastes like a wing sauce that you would get that's kind of a mustard base. But there's something in that that just, let me try something just on my finger. something that I just don't like in the flavor of this. It's almost like it has a mayonnaise mixed in with it. It is gluten free too, but something is off in this. And there's way better wing sauce on the market. So, so far this is the worst sauce that we've tried today of the Blues Hog, which I know it's a wing sauce, but it is not my favorite. I would not put this on my wings. So, okay, we're gonna move that way down to the end. All right, what we got up next, my friends? We got the raspberry chipotle. Raspberry is delicious if you like raspberry. So we'll get that berry flavor, I'm sure. Then we'll get that chipotle, which is gonna be a spice kick. So this should be really good. Do a little shake. We're gonna turn our plate again. Try not to get nothing mixed together. Um, it's got like a syrup pour. It's kind of thick. It's not very runny, which is a good thing, especially if you're trying to sauce up some meat and you don't want the sauce running all off. This would probably definitely stick to your meat good. Let's give it a little taste notice on my finger. Oh yeah, that's almost like a jam or preserve, almost like a, a preserve or a jelly taste. That raspberry is thick. It's got the thickness of a serpent. In it. Wow. That's different. That's gonna taste really odd on my steak. <laughs> I can tell you right now. If you're looking for something you ain't never had before, this raspberry chipotle is very, very different. I don't think this is for everybody out there. You definitely would have to, before you brought a big bottle of this, I would, if I could find a small bottle, it's the best thing I know to tell you, get a small bottle and try it. Um, I like fruit, a fruity taste on some barbecue. I think this would be good on ribs. My opinion, not on steak. 
put on ribs. If you like a jelly or a jam, like a almost like a grape jelly, with a spicy kick in the back, you like this. If you're not interested in anything, it might taste like a jelly, grape jelly jam or a preserve, raspberry flavor, berry. You're not gonna want this. But I find it unique and very tasty. I like it, it's different. All right, moving right on to our last one, my friends. Now this is the Champions Blend. I'll take the plate again. Pour some out. Pour's pretty good. It's not a real runny pour. Try a little bit on our finger. Mmm. Okay. Uh, going for another little taste there. Mmm. It's a tangy, sweet barbecue sauce. Best way I know to say that, it's a tangy, sweet sauce. It hangs on the meats. Pretty good. Not my favorite, but it's edible. <laughs> it's okay. I would not buy a big bottle of this. If you see these blues hogs in the store, which ones would I suggest that you pick up and try if you only have seen the big bottles? The original is good. It's original barbecue sauce, smoky, sweet taste. Nothing special, but if you want to try it, give it a try. I would say get a small bottle first, but I do like it. But it's, it's like a traditional smoky, sweet molasses barbecue. This Tennessee Red is a more of a watery based uh, sauce. Something you're just gonna brush on probably right before you finish up cooking. This would go good on ribs. This would go good on um, pork. Um, not good on steak. Might go all right on chicken, but it's got a vinegar spicy kick to it. That's why I know how to describe this. So that's that's a good one. I would I would take that one. Then we had the Smoky Mountain. The Smoky the Smoky Mountain one's very smoky, like it says. It has a very heavy smoke flavor and a sweet molasses taste with a little pepper kick. Not much pepper kick. Mostly sweet and smoky. So this one. It's okay. I'm gonna put it over here. We're not gonna put it up there yet. The raspberry chipotle. I like it. If you don't like raspberry or jellies or jams or preserves, you ain't gonna like this. But the combination of putting the spiciness in there, brushing this on some ribs, I think it's pretty good. But if you want to just take a chance, I might want to buy a small bottle like this first and sample it before you put it on your ribs. If you ain't never had any kind of fruit flavor on your ribs, you may not want to go with this. But I like this. I think this is good. So I'm going to put this in third. Well, actually, I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to put this one right here. We're going to rank them in a minute. This one right here is sitting in the back. This uh, Champion Blend, nothing special. It's just a sweet barbecue sauce. When you were down to it, there's plenty of these already on the market. And it's okay. It's, it's not one I would pick up in a big bottle, by no means. So the chicken wing one, totally two thumbs down on the chicken wing. This one right here, not really a big fan of it. This one right here is fine if you like smoky flavor sauces. Run out and grab this one. This is smoky. It's heavy hit, smoky, and sweet. Um, the raspberry one, fruity. Then we got the tangy, vinegary one. And then we got the original. So if I had to rank them for what's my favorite, I love vinegar. I would say this is number one. The Tennessee Red Vinegar Kick. I would go with the raspberry chipotle. Next, number two. Um... Number three, if I had to throw it in there, the original barbecue sauce, but there's some out on the market it's just as good as this. But if I was buying them, this is how I would buy them, one, two, and three. And rounding out the top four is smoky. If you, a lot of people like that smoky flavor barbecue sauce. This is a good one. Sweet, a little spicy, got a lot of smoke in it. It's good. But these other two, this, I don't know why this says Champions Blend. It's not that great tasting to me, even on my finger or on some nice juicy steak over there. And of course, this chicken wing, when I try it out even by itself on the finger, it's it's not good. It's got something that throws this off in there. At first, it tastes like almost any other chicken wing um, sauce that's uh, mustard based, but then it just it has an odd taste. I don't like it. So those two, ramp, these, these four right here are good. And that's pretty much gonna wrap this up, my friends. I hope y'all enjoyed this review. I'm getting a piece of steak. Mm, so good.
I'm trying to find out some different stuff. I got some other hot sauces I'm gonna review. So be looking for the hot sauce. I think I got five of them. Y'all don't get to see me sweat it out. Five different flavors of hot sauce. Uh, that video will be coming very soon, so keep an eye out for those. But today I just thought I'd just do some barbecue sauces just to change things up. So I hope y'all enjoyed the review of the Blues Hog barbecue sauces. And that's that's what, this, this is just my opinion. Everybody's taste buds is gonna be different. But I'm telling you what I taste, and these right here are just not good. They're just subpar, and this is just nasty. This is just subpar barbecue sauce. And I don't think you would want to waste your money on either one of these two. So yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. I hope y'all enjoyed the review. If you did, my friends, and you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a two-wad. If you didn't like it, leave a comment down below. You can check out my merch store where we have all this cool stuff like I Know Chris shirts, coffee mugs, hats, all kind of stuff. Well, that's pretty much it, my friends. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Until the next time, you know what you need to do. Stay safe, and as always, keep tubing.